Hello guys, how are you? This is Adam and welcome to Adam Lab. Maybe I should change the channel from student Adam to or Adam student to uh, Adam Lab. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I have good news with an asterisk for Visual Studio lovers. Um, long story short, Visual Studio does work on the M1 chip and it works fine except there is an asterisk. Let's go to the to Visual Studio. And as you can see right here, I do have two phones and uh, both of these phones are Android and they are running and as you can see, Android is trying to run and everything so you can emulate whatever application you want. But the issue is, in order to turn on the phone, it will take a very long time, aka this is not doable, aka you cannot do Android work sadly if you want to build an android application you can definitely close and whatever that might be but in the meantime it is really hard to do anything that is android related on uh, the m1 chip and the reason is because it's based on the x86 architecture and this architecture architecture is not yet supported even by Rosetto even through Rosetto translation it's actually not able to be run and I will show you so right now I will go to the desktop and I will open applications after I open applications this is Visual Studio on Visual Studio command I I would be having two options open low resolution or open locked which means I cannot force it to be open through Rosetto now let's go to the mail app for example and I will click Control I it would actually allow me to force to open through Rosetto if I want in this case Visual Studio cannot be run through Rosetto, so I cannot even force it, and I can. Um, and this architecture is not even supported. And even on Apple documentation, it says what cannot be translated. And you can see kernel extension extensions, which we don't care about, but virtual machine apps that virtualize 86 underscore 64 computer platform. These cannot be translated through Rosetto. Therefore, applications like Android Studio not be working because Android Studio is based on that and stuff like an Android emulator through Visual Studio that will not work. But if you ever wanted to give that a try what you can do is when you open Visual Studio and then you go to the debugging device you can go here which is a new device and you can click a new device. You can use choose the processor if you choose 86 or 86 underscore 64 it will not work. If you choose ARM then it will work but the issue is if you choose arm v7 it will allow you to go for example to lollipop or marshmallow which is like the most recent abi even though we are at abi 29 in the meantime with uh, android and if you go to arm 64 it will only allow you to go to Nugget 7.1, which is API 25. But let's say we are in a perfect world and then we use 86, it will actually allow us to go to the API 29, which is basically Q, and that's the 10. But even though 86 will not work, so I will show you right now. Right now, I have Q10 Pixel 3 and that's 86 and it is on it will take one gigabyte of memory and it's on q10 run it will give me an error it will not run because it's 8664 and again according to apple documentations it's not supported we will go to 86 again according to apple documentation it's not supported now we will go to arm v7 which allow us to go to marshmallow or lollipop maximum Three, two, one, emulating. Now it will work. It will be slow, but it will work. So R, if you choose anything ARM based, it will work. But if you choose something on the 86 architecture, it will not work. So there's that. You can definitely do whatever you would like to do with this information when it comes to when it comes to Android. Now let's say we don't want to deal with Android anymore and maybe we are using C Sharp to develop for iOS. So in this case we will go to the iOS application and then in the iOS application maybe we are making a video game and we are using C Sharp and maybe we are using a little bit of Unity and this game we want it to run on the iOS aka App Store. So what would happen in this case 
Visuals. We will keep using Visual Studio because we like Visual Studio and we do not want to use Xcode because Xcode is pain in the butt. As you can see right now, iPhone opens. This is an iPod Touch 7th generation. Right now, all what we can do is click the home button and then when we click the home button, we would be on the main menu and then we can do whatever we want to do. And here I do have an iOS app and I do have ha 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 and then you will be having access to the iPod Touch. I'm Let's say you don't want the iPod Touch, you want another device, then we can just go here and then we can choose whatever device that we want. Let's say we want iOS 12 and then we click run straight with Visual Studio right now. It's setting up the device and voila, we have the device ready. Um, it's a blank screen, why? Because I have not written anything, but what we can do is simply click on the home button and then all of a sudden we are in the main menu for the phone. So if you are using Visual Studio and you are on Mac and you want to develop for Mac, for example, making video games or making cross-platform applications and you want up, and you want your application to make sure it's working on Mac and at the same time you like to use C Sharp or C++, if you are building anything for iOS, it would work just fine. But if you are building something for Android, it will not work in the meantime because I am sure it will be updated in the future right now it will not work when it comes to Android and if it does work it will be really slow plus if you make the application run you want it to be running on the most recent iOS therefore if it's running on an older iOS that might cause you some issues and such so you need to make sure that your application works um, in the best way possible and on that instance this is literally it with Visual Studio or even Visual Studio code I have tried Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio. They they all work. Um, these three patterns or different flavors of the same application or same software, which is basically Visual Studio. They all work the same way, except if you are developing for iOS, you will be good to go. If you are developing to make a game through Unity, you will be good to go. But if you are developing something in order to run it on Unreal Engine, that is not possible. If you are developing something and you want it to run on Android, that is not possible. And if you are trying to build something and then run it on an Android on Android Studio or even use Android Studio that will not work and a video on that coming up later either after this video later today or probably tomorrow because I will be working on Android Studio as well and I will give a breakdown for it but in general this is the breakdown for Visual Studio this is everything if there is any questions or concerns or any other test that you want me to get done on the M1 chip just leave them in the comments below and I will definitely do them aside from that thank you for joining me in this lab and you have a wonderful day and stay safe out there as well